Welcome to the Yellow Jacket Experience. I'm your host, Seth Dusalt, and joining me today from our golf team is senior Danny O'Toole, the West Springfield native who has been at AIC now in his fourth year. Danny, how are you doing today? Good. Thanks for having me. Glad to have you on board. Uh, you're a, kind of a renaissance man when it comes to sports. Looking at your bio, uh, you played hockey, you played tennis, you played lacrosse in high school, in addition to being a golfer. Uh, first of all, how do you balance four different sports? And then kind of what's the connection between each of the other three and golf and how maybe do you use the skills from, say, hockey to make you a better golfer? Yeah, so, well, I, I played lacrosse until my junior year, and then I started playing tennis. Just didn't really work out playing lacrosse, and I wanted to switch it up. And that was actually one of the better decisions I made in high school was playing tennis, believe it or not. I had a lot of fun doing that. Um, but, yeah, my parents always kind of encouraged me to play more than just one sport. And uh, I got into golf. I always was into hockey. My dad uh, always wanted me to play hockey. And I think that it helps a lot playing golf. With the, the shooting's kind of the same as hitting a golf ball. So... Is is that why Happy Gilmore was able to uh, switch from hockey to golf so easily? <laughs> Definitely. I can't hit it quite as far, but <laughs> I was a little better than him at hockey, I think. <laughs> now, how, so how did you balance all of that? I mean, it's, a, it's enough to play one sport and to do well in school, but to play three at mm -hmm. a time, uh, how were you able to kind of balance that out and do well with both? Well, because it was seasonally – I would only really focus on one sport per season. Um, but golf, I'd focus on mainly like the whole summer and the fall. But uh, in the winter, I would just be playing hockey, focusing on hockey. That was the only season I would play it. And spring, I'd either be playing lacrosse or tennis. And so it was, it, it was not too hard to balance. And you also captained the hockey team at West Side and the golf team. What did you learn from that experience of, of being a captain wearing the letter? Learn that you, you kind of start becoming more of a role model to the younger kids. Um, I was the captain of my senior year for both, and you kind of got to grow up a little bit and not be a goofball anymore, and you got to be respectful to everybody. And hockey is a lot of uh, talking to the refs and becoming friendly with the refs, and golf was a lot of just helping, um, helping the younger kids especially since for golf it was fall and it was their first time in high school. So you're helping them out a lot. Now, how did you get into contact with AIC? What made you decide, you know, this is where I want to be. I want to be a yellow jacket. My golf coach in high school, Dave DeRico, he owns the, uh, that store in West Springfield, DeRico's. Um, he was contacted by Dan LaPierre, uh, our, our old coach. And um, so then my coach kind of told me about it and uh, I reached out to Dan and me and Dan started talking and came in toward the school and met the golf team and I knew I wanted to stay, play golf. Now you mentioned Dan LaPierre. The team has had a couple of head coaches over, uh, over your career, but there's been one constant on the coaching staff, uh, Susan Titel, the assistant coach who's been part of it for quite a long time. Uh, what have you gained from, working with her as far as both golf and maybe even off the golf course? Uh, Sue's awesome. I love Sue. She, uh, on the golf course, she helps a lot around the greens. Um, off the golf course, she helps a lot too with our just everyday lives and being a good person and stuff like that. She's, she's great. She, she, when we lost, uh, when we lost Dan in the winter, she still pursued us to go to Florida and really wanted us to get to do that for spring break. And we got to do all of that. And I'm really thankful for that because that was a lot of fun. Now, one thing that is sort of new at AIC, we've had it for a couple of years at this point, really for your whole career, um, is the addition of the women's team. Um, mm -hmm. what's the interaction been like between the two squads? I know you guys practice together, the same coaching staff, sometimes even compete together. What's, what's that whole experience been like having both a men's and a women's team to work together like that? That's a lot of fun. Um, it makes practices more fun. Um, the two girls that we have right now, Rothio and Paulette, are awesome. They're Paulette's from Mexico, Rothio from Spain, and they're fun. They, oh, 
<laughs> My dog's making an appearance. Hey, listen, nothing wrong with a dog. Um, but yeah, the, the girls team's a lot of fun. Uh, they make tournaments more fun too. They're, yeah, they're, they're awesome too. And you're going into your senior year this year. Um, obviously things are not quite as normal with the pandemic, but what goals do you have coming into your senior year as far as what you feel like you want to be able to accomplish in your fourth season? Um, I want to come out and play a lot better than I, than I have in the past. Um, luckily, I, well, I'm, I'm going to have to do it another semester and graduate in December. So I'll be able to play another season. And I think that'll help a lot. I'll have the whole summer to get ready for that. And I want to play much better than I have in the past and really just bear down and get it together. Do you have any, any specific things that you, uh, that you've been working on or want to work on? I've been working a lot on my chipping and putting, but that's, that's always how it is. You can never be too good at that. Um, I definitely need to work on my chipping more. Try to just leave myself with tappins, but hard sport. Hard it game. is. Yeah, it, it's, it's truly, it's, it's amazing watching athletes from other sports try to play golf because everybody seems to do it and nobody seems to be that good at it. So. Oh yeah, it's very difficult. So let's look to the academic side of things a little bit more. Uh, you're a criminal justice major. You're a senior. You've mentioned already wanting to come back for grad school. Is there something you've picked out that you want to do uh, for a career, or is that still something that kind of is open right now for you? It's still sort of open, but um, I think I'm leaning more towards a law enforcement job. My my father's a police officer in West Springfield. All my uncles well, most of my uncles are police officers. My brother just became one in West Springfield. It's kind of just becoming a family business almost, and I think I'm going to follow in their footsteps. Oh, there you, there you go. Hey, if, you, if it works out for you like that. Um, any particular courses or professors that you found have been particularly impactful on you in your time at AIC? I think Professor Payne, definitely. She's awesome. She helps a lot with the athletes too, and she's great. Yeah, Professor Payne is somebody who it seems like every time I ask that question, she's the answer. Um, <laughs> I've known her for a long time too, so not really a surprise. Um, maybe I'm lucky enough to have her as my advisor too. So I was gonna say maybe maybe give us a little bit more on like how her interaction with with athletes specifically has had an impact. Maybe not even just on you, but on the teams as a whole at AIC. Well, she always has our backs with um, with classes. Like uh, for golf, for example, we have to – sometimes we leave on Thursday in the morning for a practice round. Then we have to play Friday, play Saturday. Sometimes we'll be just like, let's say, we're missing Monday and Tuesday for classes too. Or, and uh, she's always had our backs on the golf team with letting us miss those classes. And there's nothing we can do about it. But we miss a lot of school, especially in the springtime. Uh, April's jam-packed. And she, she's always helping us. Let's switch gears again. Um, obviously, a lot, of, a lot of athletic interest. But apart from sports, what's this interest or maybe a skill that you have that if people only knew Danny O'Toole, the golfer, they wouldn't know about? Oh, man. <laughs> a skill besides a sport. Or even man. just something, something that you're into. Maybe you collect stamps. I don't know. Well, I guess I'm going to sound like a, like a nerd. I'm really into Mario games. <laughs> I, play, I play Nintendo Switch all the time, and I'm, I'm addicted to the Mario games. What's, uh, what's your favorite Mario game? Um, probably Mario Odyssey. I was going to say, I grew up on Super Mario World, which is obviously a little bit before your time. I'm dating myself yeah, a bit. Yeah, I but... played them all. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right. How about Mario Kart? You play Mario Kart at all, any of the? Yeah, yeah. Not, not too. I don't play Mario Kart too often, but I have it. It's more of a party game. Yeah, it's true. A little, a little tough right now with, uh, with the pandemic to play stuff yeah. like that. All right, so I'm going to wrap this up with the question we ask everybody. Um, other than your parents, you mentioned your father already, but other than your parents, who's somebody who's had a significant influence on your life and how have they impacted who you are as a person? Um, I'd probably have to say my grandfather, uh, my dad's dad. He uh, 
he's who got me into the game, into golf. Uh, when I was little, my parents would go to work and he'd pick me up and he would just take me to the golf course and I'd be stuck there all day. He'd be making me hit balls all day. And um, he, I'm happy he brought me to the golf course. And being at the golf course teaches you how to be social. So he helped me be more social. Um, you meet a lot of people. Um, he helped me with that. And he just taught me how to be a better person. And I'm thankful for that. I can't overstate the value of a good grandparent to be there as a good influence. I know that's uh, certainly true for me as well. Danny, really appreciate you taking the time today to talk to us and looking forward to the golf season this uh, this spring. Can't wait to get out there and watch you guys uh, drain some of those putts and some of those chips. Yeah, hopefully we can uh, hopefully we can play. I think it'll happen. That's Danny O'Toole here on the Yellow Jacket Experience, and we will have another episode coming up later on this week, so stick around and keep your eyes peeled.